Hello everyone, I'm stressed. <laughs> I just recorded a whole like 10 minutes of what I thought was this video and I just realized that it wasn't recording. That is so funny that that would happen today of all days because I have like a big thank you and announcement to make about a milestone with the channel and leave it to today's video be the one that I make that mistake for the first time. Ugh. Okay, let's start over. Nice to meet you. It's me, Chuck. As you can tell, Ryan is not here with me today. It is once again, just me. We were planning on having Ryan and Lori be the Thursday video, but I didn't really think it through. Ryan landed in Boston at 11.30 Boston time on Tuesday, so that would have given him only Wednesday and then maybe a little bit this morning to film. So they just don't have a video ready yet. So Ryan and Lori are probably gonna take over our channel next week and right now it's me taking over the channel i've been taking it over this week welcome to jack valentine with just jack valentine that is what you guys got to deal with this week today if you could tell by the title and the thumbnail i do have a bins haul for you guys and i went to the bins two times and i actually did quite good nothing crazy nothing blow your mind well i always say that and then we get into it and then there is stuff that i totally forgot about because i get so much stuff that there probably is something crazy in here but it was a lot of like free people anthro made well like really really good solid closet fillers which is always nice too i filled my cart twice of course that counts stuff that's for consignment stores but still i got a lot of stuff so buckle in we have a lot to go through and a lot of great things as usual if you're interested in anything email me email is below or dm me on instagram but 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 before we jump into it first off if you like bins hauls and you like our channel and you like me and you like seeing the things we find please please give this video a thumbs up it really helps us see what videos you guys like best it helps us see that you guys are engaged and that there are actually people watching our videos so if you could give us a thumbs Thumbs up that'd be awesome and if you for some reason are brand new hi first off <laughs> and also please subscribe to us that'd be pretty awesome we do all kinds of videos about reselling a lot of hauls and not to toot our own horn but we find a lot of good things if you like to see bougie nice things that we get for really good deals and then we pass those deals on to you subscribe one more thing though before we start Let's dim the lights, start the sappy music. Time to get sappy, time to get emotional. Last night when I was going to bed, I kid you not, I looked at our subscriber count and it was 9,999 subscribers. No joke, like literally we were one away. And so I texted Ryan and I was like, Ryan, I think overnight, I mean, I hope overnight, we are going to hit 10,000 subscribers. And we both had this moment of just like, like, wow, like just, it's so crazy to really think about that there are 10,000 of you out there that not only like watch us, but you've liked us enough that you want to continue watching us, continue seeing what we put out there, continue following along with like our journey, our finds, our story, our relationship, our lives. It's just crazy. So sure enough, we woke up and our channel was at 10,005 subscribers. We passed 10,000 subscribers overnight, and I cannot thank you guys enough. For me, YouTube has always been my main source of entertainment. I am not super huge into, like, TV shows, and I really don't like movies that much. Since I was quite young, I have watched YouTube, and it's been my go-to for entertainment and media and even news and content and everything. And so since I started, I kind of, like, had this dream in the back of my mind to start a YouTube channel, put something out there, create content through YouTube. And of course, especially before I was a reseller, I didn't know what I would do. Like, what, what is there to make content about? Just vlog my daily, like, high school life? Vlog my middle school life? No, nobody wants to see that. So actually, <laughs> fun fact, I don't honestly think that I've, like, ever told anyone this, but maybe, like, Ryan and then the people that are involved. But when I was little, like, very little, my cousins and I and my brother would make little stupid funny YouTube skits, YouTube videos. We'd upload them. We would just watch them ourselves. 
we would just watch them on holidays. We'd make them on holidays. They were just really for us. And that lasted about like, I don't know, two or three years. And then we stopped. I was quite little for that. Then actually in late high school and super, super early college, like maybe my first year, my best friend at the time and I were making videos. And again, it was just like funny, like dumb. Those were more vlog style, but they were just like, they were for us. It was just for us to watch. We thought it was funny. We found them entertaining. And so we just made them for fun and like for bonding. But I always had this like want to make YouTube videos. And like I said, I didn't have any reason to make YouTube videos. So I started reselling three and a half years ago and I was watching some thrifting and reselling videos on YouTube and people did hauls I saw. People would have like really cool finds. And so I was like, you know what? Nobody's gonna watch me. But I mean, I find cool stuff. I go shopping. I got some time. It was the summer of 2018. I was like, you know what? I am just going to make my own YouTube videos. I know it's not really gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna do anything, but I'm gonna do it just for fun, just for me. And so I started making YouTube videos and I would do hauls. A couple people showed up and would comment and stuff. And actually at the time I was living on my own. I had no roommate that summer and Ryan was not living with me yet. So actually like the few people that did watch me and chatted with me were keeping me company and it was really, really nice. Pretty soon after I started making them and I had like a few subscribers, I was just like, Ryan, you do the same thing as me. Do you want to be in them with me? Especially my Saturday video because him and I would hang out on the weekends. And so he started showing up on What Sold Saturdays. Then later on, he started being in some of the halls and it was super awkward. Please don't go back and watch those. Those are really cringy. I do not like to watch them. It just, we, you can tell we feel so uncomfortable and awkward filming YouTube videos. I think especially like together, we hadn't really like figured that out yet. I was pretty comfortable on my own, but together I was just kind of like, this is weird, awkward. And so yeah, don't go and look at those. And then of course, close to the time that we were going to move in together, he was in most videos with me. Then we moved in together. We started to really stick to our schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, videos. I did What Sold Saturday since kind of the beginning. I've done those for a long, long time. Kind of when we moved in together, we also started to premiere basically every single video that we did. We love premieres. Premieres allow us to interact directly with you guys and chit chat with you guys and bond with you guys. And I feel like we have like a crew and a group that's in basically every premiere and we've built good friendships with you guys and you guys have built friendships together. And that is like the most amazing thing ever. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm blown away with with how far this has gone. I never imagined this in my wildest dreams. This is like low key, a dream of mine that I've had like since I was little. It's so weird that sometimes like people call me like a YouTuber when they see us in person. They say that like we're YouTubers that they like and to just consider myself or think of myself as like a YouTuber is so weird because like I said, that was like my dream. So like, thank you guys. <laughs> Seriously, thank all of you, all 10,005 of you, 10,009, 2005. It might've been 2009 last time I checked. So thank all 10,009 of you. We love each and every single one of you so much and we appreciate it so much. We could not have gotten here without you guys. And I seriously just wanna thank you guys so much. I'm sorry Ryan couldn't be here to thank you guys with me, but he feels exactly the same. And maybe he'll say a little spiel on Sunday because what's on Saturdays on Sunday this week? Sorry, I didn't mention that. I have rambled on too much. I really love and appreciate all of you, but let's dive into the haul. This has been too much rambling. Let's jump into the haul. <laughs> seems so weird to just like go from like sappy to like look at this bag <laughs> first up is this coach bag this is a men's coach item it is one of the vintage like leather messenger bags laptop bags it has a little bit of wear at the turn lock the turn lock's like a little loose it still holds its like lock though and then it has some spots there and then the handles just have like very teeny minuscule wear this thing is in crazy good shape especially for the age and i love finding these men's coach bags they always sell for like over a hundred dollars let's do pants next pants and like things that won't fit into my inventory bags because that's just how i have this organized so next up is this pair of tna which is an aritzia brand tna extra extra small 
fall leggings. I do not find Aritzia very often, even though Minnesota now has an Aritzia store in the Mall of America. That's really pretty. I love that store. I don't buy anything there, but we go in it sometimes just to like, ooh and ah. Next up, I kind of feel like Ryan. I found, if you can read it there, a pair of BDG jeans. I actually think that these are quite cute. They got the busted knee and the raw ankle, and they are size 27, and they're the girlfriend, I believe. Yes, girlfriend high rise size 27. And if I didn't say, this is all from the bins. All of this. Like, none of it is not from the bins. Next up is this not Alexander McQueen scarf. I think that this is super cute, and I, of course, love skulls. Duh. So I picked that up, and I'll just list it with no brand. Next up is a new brand to me. It is a brand called Rolas, and actually this, I don't know if everything by Rolas is sold at Mod Cloth or if it's just specific pieces, but these overalls were sold at Mod Cloth, and they are these pink corduroy, kind of like wide or straight leg overalls. They have button backs to the straps, and they are a size 14 slash XL. Great size and super adorable, and I love selling Mod Cloth. Then is a brand that I don't pick up very often, but this I thought was really cute, and it is H&M. And this is a size US medium, and it's this like zebra tiger print sweater. And like I said, I don't pick up H&M very often, but I thought this was cute and I was at least gonna get it to bring to a consignment store. And then I Googled it and like the comps were like $40, which is not very common with H&M, but with this piece, I guess that's what they possibly sell for. So I'm gonna try it. Then we have an Eloquy. That is a brand that I don't find very often, but I do like to sell Eloquy. Eloquy is a plus size brand, kind of like Torrid, but I was having it as discussion with someone at the bins, I don't know where Eloquy is sold. Like, is it an online only brand? I am not sure. This is a size 22 and it's a super cute, trendy dress. It's a midi length and it's like textured. It has a lot of stretch and it's got these really cute puff sleeves and it actually is new with tag, which is fantastic for being at the bins. And the back is just plain. Next up is a brand that I don't know if I've ever tried. Maybe I've tried it like once or twice. It's five 25 America, which can be sold at Anthro. It's sold at like Nordstrom Rack and stuff, size medium. And this is just like a sweater dress. And since we're going into fall, I'm gonna try it out. It kind of has puff sleeves, but they're not super puff. And it has like a crew, slightly scoop neck. I'm mainly trying that just because of like the season. I know that 525 America is actually quite expensive, but it's mm -hmm, not my favorite piece but we'll give it a shot. Then we have this vintage Sunbelt sportswear size large denim jacket. There's the label. And it is this like equestrian western denim jacket. It's quite oversized and it's got like studs and patches and graphics all over it. And it's got these tassels at the front too. And then on the back, there's a big old horse. So I thought that was really cute. I think someone had thrown it back, and so I snatched it. Then I learned this from Ryan, so we'll see how it goes. But Ryan always says that airy bralettes do good, and I thought this was really cute. Once again, good fall color. It's like rust. There is the airy label, and this is a size medium. Cute, kind of floral. Next up is a pair of jeans, and it's a brand that I don't always pick up either. It's American Eagle, but these are a adorable. They are half and half color block split jeans that are distressed and I believe they're a straight leg. These are a tom girl style which I always think is similar to boyfriend but I might be wrong. These are a size four and I just love how the color is split. It kind of wouldn't have mattered what brand these were. I would have picked them up no matter what. And if they were something like some other mall brand, I may have consigned them, but I sometimes can sell American Eagle, so I'm just gonna try those. And next is a bralette, a cute little lace bralette that is literally like new condition, and it is by Spanx which Spanx is one of those brands that's probably one of my favorites to sell ever. It just always does so good. It always sells so fast and it sells for a decent amount of money. So I've never had a bra by them, but I'm sure it's the same situation. Now let's move into the tops and the things that can actually fit into my inventory bags. Okay, so this I got super excited about. Unfortunately, it's a kid's piece, but I still am excited to have found this brand in the bins. It is Stella McCartney Kids and it is a 12 year old size. And it is this, it's not silk, but it feels like silk. I think it's just viscose. It's this floral, like, sweater print panel 
top. And I have never found Stella McCartney actually in the wild at all. Any of the Stella McCartneys I've had have been through consignment stores, so I was super excited about that. Then we have this Holding Horses, which is not something I would usually sell myself anymore, but it's a size 14, which is a great size. And again, it kind of gives me like fall vibes. It's like plaid and it's got the like yellow, red coloring and size 14 is great. Up next is a junk food item and it is this junk food label, size medium, and it's all you need is love, love is all you need, graphic tank top. So it is a Beatles one and it actually has the whole like lyrics typed out on the inside. I don't really know what the point of that is, but I'll take it. <laughs> then another brand I've actually never found out in the wild and this is a Bolo if you do not know this brand. It is Tula Rosa and this is a size large. This is a quite expensive brand and I think it's sold at like Revolve and probably at Nordstrom and stuff. And this is like a cute off the shoulder ruffle and embroidered and lace blouse. And large is a pretty good size. I feel like for more cutesy like revolvey brands I feel like you don't find large super often so I'm excited about that. Then a brand that I usually do not sell myself usually I hand it off to Debbie Topshop. Debbie likes to sell Topshop. I usually do not. This is a size 6 and it is this ruffle kind of peasant style sheer floral blouse. It has buttons all the way up the front and then it has this lace detail and I'm just gonna give that a shot just because I think it's pretty cute and that is the newer labels. If it isn't selling I will consign it or give it to Deborah. Then we have this size large free people. Again a great size for free people. Large is not very common and I love this print. Honestly this is a free people I would have picked up in a normal thrift store but it was in the bins so that's a bonus and I think it's very cute. I like the print to it. Next up we have an anthro piece and it is moth and this is a size small. So this is one I probably would have skipped in the thrift store unless I looked up the comps and the model picture because actually this is a newer moth piece which I thought the opposite. I thought this would be an older one and it has a cute model picture and it I have listed this and it already has like five likes which is quite a lot for anthropology nowadays. I like the stripes at the bottom. Those are really cute and polka dots are like always in so that should do quite well. Next up I found a couple Eileen Fishers. This is the first. The others are deeper in the pile. This is an Eileen Fisher size medium and it is this single pocket kind of like half sleeve sweater. It's a thinner sweater and the tag is unfortunately cut out but it feels like a wool or cashmere blend. It's really really soft. Then we have an Athleta piece and I love selling Athleta when it's the new label and that's one of the new labels. This is a size small and it is a dress shirt which is really weird to be from Athleta. I actually recently listed an Athleta blazer which was also really weird. I didn't even know they made either of those things but I love this stripe that goes down the back so I think it'll do good. If it didn't have the stripe I probably would just consign it but I think this stripe makes it a little you know it gives it that little like extra that like that Zhuzh. Next up is another free people item. Again in the bins, that's great for me. I do not get it at the thrift store very much anymore, but this one was in the bins. And new tag, which is shocking. In the bins, new tag free people, but what's not shocking is the Goodwill tag was still on this and it was priced at $40. So Goodwill, stop. Stop marking up free people and stop marking new with tag items half off of the new with tag price. Come on. Even when I find items that I'm selling new with tag, usually I don't even mark it half off. And I'm like running like a business where I've invested into my items. Why are you marking things half off? You got this for free. Anyways, new with tag free people and this is a size extra small and it's a cute tag textured balloon sleeve sweater. I actually think I've had one of these before and I don't remember how it did. So we will just find out together if that sells fast. And strangely enough, totally different bin. So I don't know if they actually went together and totally different size, totally different bin, totally different size. This one's a free people size large and it's the same sweater. Balloon sleeve textured but this one's like striped if you can see that and actually the like inner tag the fabric tag on these look totally different like I think that this is a lot newer than the green so this is a lot newer than this one which is weird so they must have like remade it or like reworked the style up next is another one of the Eileen Fishkers it is this Eileen Fisher size extra large so a better size and it is this hooded like 
quarter button sweater hoodie. This one I'm a little bit more excited about. This one's really soft as well. And I like the blue color, but I kind of like how it's like a sweater hoodie. It's very like like stretchy and bouncy and has a lot of fabric to it. I don't know, I'm trying to be positive about Eileen, okay? <laughs> Next up is another Free People, and this is a We The Free, and I've had this top before. It's a size medium, and it says C, and it's just like a split graphic t-shirt. I think last time I had it, it did not do very well, but... <laughs> In the bins, I'm not going to skip it, and like, all consignment stores take free people, so if it doesn't sell, I'll just consign it. Next up is a Sundry, and I've had this one too. Okay, so this is like Ghost of Girlfriend's Past, or whatever that movie is. Like, all of my like, clothing exes are like, coming back. It's like my Poshmark sales exes are like, coming back to haunt me. This is a Sundry. And it's a size 3, which is large, and it is this color block distressed sweater. It's got kind of a raw hem, and yes, it comes that way, because last time I had it, it was new a tag, and it looked the same. It's the same on the back. The only special thing about it is it has a heart, if you can see that, on the back of the left elbow. <laughs> Me going right, left. So that's like the only, cause usually sundry is like Wild Fox where it's like graphic t-shirts and stuff. Last time I had that, it actually did good. So I'm kind of excited about that one. Next up is another free people. And again, okay, remember all of this is bins. So this is like pretty good for the bins. I'm kind of shocked. Free People Beach, this one says two body, which now I'm confused cause usually the Free People Beach says one body. And I thought that that meant that it was one size fits all. Does this mean that one sweater fits two people? people i don't know like what if you know anything but it, like it looks like the same size because once again i've had this before i think in one body size so it looks the same size as last time i had it so i think i'm just gonna list it as one size fits all again people who want this sweater probably know how it fits i don't know it's like a cow neck sweater I, whatever up next a brand that i do not pick up very often but this is Ooh, adorable to skip. It's a gap. It's size medium. And it is this super cute star print sweater. It's also ridiculously soft. It's also basically like new. So I was not going to pass. Then we have a Sundance blouse with tons of embroidery up the front. And then even some embroidery on the back. And this is a size large. And that is not the newest Sundance label. The new one is light blue. But I basically like all kinds of Sundance. Next up, I feel like Ryan. This is a John Galt Brandy Melville one size fits all. One size fits all. And this is just a Paris graphic crop top. The girlies, as Ryan would say, love this stuff. They eat it up. Actually, I've heard that Brandy Melville does good on Depop. So if you have a Depop and you have Brandy Melville in your posh closet, cross post that. Up next is another Eloquii item. And this one's a size 16, even though it was in the same bin as the other one. So it's kind of weird that the sizing is so different. But this is like a little red dress, flowy and cap sleeved. I have not found the model picture for this one yet. Then we have the third and final Eileen Fisher piece to this haul. This is, okay, so there's no label in it, but it is this green, like army green dress, very leg and look, I feel like, because Eileen is like queen of leg and look, but sometimes it's just more leg and look than other times. But it's like this pocketed, shapeless green dress with drawers strings. I know it sounds like I'm being mean about it, but actually I kind of like this dress, not gonna lie. It splits at the bottom a little bit to give you some like walk-in room. And I knew it was Eileen because I know what an Eileen Fisher tag looks like and she's always like, give me back my clothes if you don't want them. And that's exactly what this says. We want our clothes back, even if they're worn or torn. So this is Eileen Fisher. Also, it says not just cotton, organic cotton. So this is Eileen, I know it. I mean, I also, like, I found the model picture. It was in the same bin as the other Eileen. It seems to be the same size and XL as that blue one. So it's Eileen. She's trying to hide her identity. Eileen, we're on to you. That's you. We know it. Up next is another, like, mom brand. But I love selling this brand, actually. It's Garnet Hill. And this is a size small. Strangely enough, Garnet Hill usually does pretty good for me. So this is just like a blue maxi dress with kind of like a twist 
like ruched chest region. It's like a halter top. So it just would go over like your neck and then there's nothing in the back. So for like a mom with like a fun back tattoo, that'd be perfect. Next up is like my weird random heap of Madewell that I found. I am not mad at all. Like I say in a bunch of videos, I don't really pick up Madewell anymore, but in the bins, Duh. First up is a Madewell that I would totally grab in the thrift store. This is a Madewell size small, and it is this eyelet ruffle detail blouse. Super boho, super cute, and also anything like ruffly and black to me gives me like witchy vibes, which I love to sell. I kind of like make an exception to some of my brand rules when they give me witchy vibes. I have a sanctuary right now, sanctuary blouse, and it's like black with texture to it. It's got like a mock neck, ruffles at the sleeve, super witchy, super Stevie Nicks. I usually don't sell Sanctuary, but like, I love that one. So let's keep on trucking with the Madewell. Next up is a Madewell without a size, but it seems to be about a small. And this is a silk printed like floral mini dress with long sleeves. Actually, they're probably like three fourths sleeves. And again, probably a size small. It's got the tassel front, nothing too fancy on the back. Um, but I actually, this is one of the items too that I have already listed, which some of this is listed. So if you're interested, you can go check. Not everything is. So just cause you don't see it doesn't mean I don't have it anymore, but I do have some of this listed. I already listed that dress for $45 and it has like five legs, which for Madewell nowadays, that's really good. So excited to see how that dress goes. Again, let's continue with the Madewell Fun. So next up is a Madewell duster cardigan, which is one of the only kinds of Madewell that I pick up nowadays size medium. I actually found this in gray too, but it's being cleaned because it just had like one spot on it that will clean off. So if you're interested in a gray one of these, just know that I have one of those too. And this is like a pocketed duster. It's one of the thinner ones, but I, like I said, I really like to sell the dusters. I've noticed that they still do good. They used to do really good. Like they'd make you a lot of money. Like you could sell them for like $60, $70. Now they sell for like 40, 35, but they sell easy. So that's nice. One more Madewell item. And this is probably my favorite. It's a Madewell size 14. Again, great size. This is a plaid flannel dress. So again, great for fall too. It's got pink and like rust and black in it and it kind of has puffy sleeves and then it's kind of got a puffy like waist to it. I really love this. It literally feels like a flannel and so I totally would have bought that at a thrift store as well and kind of in the same vein as Madewell because it's the same company. We have a J Crew. And this is from J. Crew Outlet. I've actually had, once again, the pieces of Jack's sold past. I've had this J. Crew before. It was sold a lot at TJ Maxx, so maybe a lot of you have had it before too. It's like a pink velvet dress that kind of like crosses the front. It retails at like $150, I remember. Size two, by the way. I don't know if I said that. And I was able to sell it, shockingly. I even sold it like when J. Crew was like. <laughs> and J. Crew is still very <laughs> So I was actually kind of excited to find that, which I'm usually not excited about J. Crew. Next up is a new brand to me, and it is Amor Vey. Probably is how that's pronounced. Amor Vey, Amor Vey. I don't know. And that's like an expensive brand, I guess. This was in my Google pile at the bins. And so I Googled it and they turned out to be quite expensive. So this is just like a twist front top. And the comps on this are about like 40 bucks, but they make like dresses and stuff where the comps are a lot higher and they make more interesting pieces in that. I wish that was a little more interesting, but I'll take it. Then we have another Eloquy, which is so weird. I never find Eloquy. I don't know where all these came from. Eloquy size 2224. And this is like a turtleneck, or well, it's like a cowl neck, stretchy, long, three-fourth sleeve tunic. Not a dress, but also not like a normal length top. I can tell it's like tunic length. And again, it's just that like stretchy, super soft material. I have a lot of that today, including this next piece. This is Maeve, which is obviously an anthro brand. Size small, Maeve. And I'm just gonna give this a shot, or this might be another one that I'll consign if it isn't doing very good for me, but it's like a stripe 
gray turtleneck dress. Actually, maybe Ryan's mom would like this. I might have to ask. It's like a nice like navy and white striped dress. Not everyone wants prints and fancy stuff. I like that stuff, but not everyone does. Up next is another anthro that I'm just gonna try, and if it doesn't sell very well, I will just consign it. It's Weston, which is an anthro brand, size medium, and it's this like floral paneled lace shoulder top. This type of stuff is just, it looks like the tiny tops that anthro does, and like those don't really do too hot for me anymore, so we will try it out. And I actually found two Weston items. This one's a different size though. This is a size large, but it's the same label, and it's like a mesh floral. And again, I don't know, it's not like the most exciting, so I think I'll just give it a shot, and then if it's not doing well, consign it. Then we have an Elton John shirt, and this is a size medium, and I think it's a bit more like form-fitting because it's quite small for a medium, but yeah, I think it's because it's form-fitting because it's definitely not like a boys or girls. It's a woman. There's like the label, and it's Elton John, Benny and the Jets. Next up, we have another sanctuary in the same boat as those anthro pieces size small, where I'm just gonna give it a shot and then I will consign it if it doesn't do well. I do like it that it's very fall. It's like buffalo plaid with ruffles, super soft, feels like a flannel. Next up we have a Zara. Again, just gonna try it. Debbie likes to sell Zara. Maybe I'll give it to her if it doesn't sell well. Size medium US. It's got cold shoulders, but it's like super freaking soft velvet. It's almost like not even velvet. It's just like so soft. And I love this like aqua color to it. And it's a turtleneck, so it's pretty trendy, even though that's not the newest Zara label. So I'm gonna give that a shot too. And now we have four more items, and these are the items that I picked up for the girlies. So we will see how these girlies items do. And this is what I think the girlies are looking for. I could be totally wrong. If you are one of them, please let me know. This is a floral, very Y2K, very 70s looking top. It has a keyhole here in the the front right there. Hello. It's like really 70s print, but like it also is very like early 2000s print. And I like the neck. So it's like sleeveless. So it's like kind of like a bra type front. And then it just meets in the center of the back, like a racer back. And it's really just like the style and the print together, like screamed early 2000s to me, so that's why I grabbed that. It had no size, but I'd say maybe a small medium. Then another no size item, but this is right up the girlies alley, I believe. This is like a vintage cable knit, really chunky sweater vest, sleeveless. It has like a low scoop, so you can wear like a white, no, I feel like you could wear a white or black turtleneck under it and it would look really cute. And again, no size, but I'm thinking it's kind of similar to that one, probably like a medium. It does have like some stretch, but not, not tons. Then picking up on Ryan's favorite trend, the coconut girlies, <laughs> the coconut girls. This is a vintage, I can tell just by the tag and by the zipper. This is one of those like flat, super vintage, like it says lucky zippers. But this is like an adorable, Hawaiian print dress with these like puffed super short sleeves. I love this print. Even if like Coconut Girl and whatever wasn't popular right now, I would still pick this up. Like the colors are so vibrant. The print is like so clear. Once again, there's no size on this. And I'm thinking it's a small. You can actually tie the waist in the back. There's like a strap coming from each side. So if you wanted to like cinch your waist, that would be super cute too. So I'm just really excited about this dress. And my last item for the girlies. This is gonna surprise you. I have never, ever, 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 ever. This one's like never. Like some of them like Express, Banana Republic, American Eagle, like I say, oh, I never get this, but like I have before. I've never picked this up because I hate this print. <laughs> this is Charlotte Russe. Ew. Size small, but it's vintage Charlotte Russe. It's got the paper tab. I mean like vintage is in like 2000s Charlotte Russe, but this is like so the girlies. Like it pains me how for the girlies this is. It is this crochet cropped, just like lace up sleeveless top. It just goes right there. Nothing covered here. Nothing covered here. That's what the girlies like. So I picked this up. I'm gonna put this on Depop, Depop, and see how it does. I think it'll do quite well. If you're a girly, 
let me know, please. Did I do a good job? Did I pick out what you people want? Did I do your people justice and pick out what you're looking for? Let me know. And holy mother, recording this, I am now at 45 minutes. So if you've seen the whole video all the way through and you're this far, leave me a comment. Leave a comment for me. And also leave me a thumbs up if you guys liked this haul. Ryan and I will be back together on Sunday for What's Sold Saturday. I mentioned that a little in the beginning, but Ryan doesn't get back until Sunday, and so we're just gonna push What's Sold Saturday back one day. It'll still cover the same days that we would have, but I just want us to do it together in person. And so instead of doing it like long distance where we just put video clips together, I think we can just wait an extra 24 hours and have it be together. So I'm about to lose my voice. I am gonna have a pain of a time editing this because sometimes listening to myself this long, just talking and talking, drives me insane. Future Jack, you made it to the end. Good job. And to the rest of you, you made it to the end. Good job. I will see you guys on Sunday for What Sold Saturday. Bye. Mike says, goodbye. Oh, he's stretching. He says, oh, that was a long one. Also, Mike says, thank you everyone for subscribing to my papas and getting them to 10,000. He really appreciates it, even though he's pulling away. <laughs>